Hello, explorers, Kita Explorer here, and today I'm here to talk about why traveling by plane is bad for the environment in this month's sustainability video here on my channel. So in this video, I'm going to talk about why you should care, I'm gonna talk about what some of the airlines are doing, and I'm gonna talk about what you can do to help. So make sure you stay all the way to the end because you definitely wanna hear the different ways you can help out and make sure the planet gets healthier. So let's get into it. But before we do, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you're notified when all of my videos are released. On my channel, I talk about all things travel and sustainability. Now let's get into today's video. So first of all, let's talk about why we all should care. Everyone on this planet should care about this and a lot of different things in relation to climate change. So if you didn't know, I don't know where you have been, but we're currently fighting to reduce carbon usage, meaning the reduction of fossil fuels, which are things like oil, your gasoline to your car, as well as stopping deforestation. Those are two major things that are contributing to climate change, making the planet as a whole collectively warmer. So let's step back for a minute to maybe help you understand more for some people who may not understand that the planet needs our help. So for example, take you for example, and say people are always asking you to do different things, your job is asking you to do different things, and when you get way too many things on your plate, you start to fatigue, you get exhausted, you get worn out. Well, that's what we're doing to the planet. For us, fortunately, we can call off work. Some of us may end up getting ill or sick or whatever, but the planet can't call off. It's here every single day. But it can get healthier if we pull back from our carbon usage, because right now we are taking way too much from the planet that the planet cannot reproduce in a timely fashion. And one of the things that is contributing, one of many things that is contributing to the use of carbon is flying, air travel. Unfortunately for us travelers, yes, it's horrible. If you looked at the aviation industry across the globe, the aviation industry will actually equal the 10th largest contributor to climate change. And by the way, number two is the United States, okay? So let's just take that and look at how it's the 10th largest contributor to climate change. So for example, I recently flew back to my hometown of Cleveland, which is about an hour, 15 minute flight from Atlanta. That was about 2000 miles one way. So 4,000 miles round trip. That one flight took almost, almost one, one, what is it, metric tons of carbon or whatever, which equals about 44 gallons of gas. One round trip flight to Cleveland. Crazy, right? So crazy. But this is why we should care is because we are taking a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot from flying. And if that one flight, round trip flight to Cleveland was that, just imagine how much it would be to grow across the globe. And if you haven't noticed, this affects with Air travel is that there has been more turbulence in air that you can directly feel as flying on a plane. So what happens if we don't reduce our carbon usage, okay? So the planet is going to continue to warm. With the planet warming just slightly more, we're gonna have glaciers melting, which means sea levels rise, which means coastal areas flood. And I believe about 48 islands on this planet are likely to disappear due to sea levels rising. Also with the temperature being hotter, you have more droughts. Also air pollution gets bad, meaning it's bad for us as people. There's gonna be more insurance claims, it's gonna be more expensive for us, it's gonna be unhealthy for us, and there's gonna be people and animals that lose their lives. Just significantly bad, okay? We don't want that. We don't want that to happen. So that's why we need to pull back on our carbon usage. So the aviation industry is fully aware of climate change and are working to meet different goals. Different airlines have different types of goals and metrics and plates. So I'm gonna focus on four different airlines today and talk about what I saw briefly from their website and then I will link it down below so you can read it if you would like to. So first of all, of course, I had to look up Delta Airlines. They are currently working to reduce their carbon usage by 10% by 2030, replacing that carbon with alternative fuels 
which they're currently already in place of doing. They also have removed older aircraft from their fleet that was not fuel efficient. And they're currently working towards being carbon neutral, meaning they're putting back as much in the planet as they are taking out. The next airline I wanna talk about is American Airlines. I just happened to type in something and one website said that American Airlines is kind of leading the way in sustainability. So I wanted to check out their website. I don't know if they're leading the way or not. I just saw it on one website. I don't know if it's true or not, but I really do appreciate their website because they are working towards alternative fuel as well and working towards that 10% reduction in carbon usage by 2030, which is right around the corner. They also plan to achieve net zero by 2050 and they have several milestones listed on their website of what they're going to meet by certain years along the way, which I really appreciate it. And the next airline I want to talk about is Spirit Airlines. <sighs> you know, I know they're a cheaper carrier or whatever. And I only looked them up because I know some people are diehard Spirit Airlines fan. They had a kind of a sustainability report in 2020. They don't really have guidelines spelled out on their website that well. And if they do, it's not easy to find. So that kind of makes me feel a little bit better about my money being spent at Delta Airlines. And the last airline I looked up, I wanted to look at an airline that is not US based, which is the Emirates. You know, the Emirates is one of the top best airlines in the world. The Emirates has been very well laid out on their sustainability goals on their website. It is amazing. Just some things that they mention is that they have younger air fleet. So with it being newer aircraft, obviously these aircrafts are more efficient with fuel. Also, they have a comprehensive fuel program, which I don't know all of the details about that, but I'll link Emirates website down below so you can fully review what their sustainability program is. Airlines are working towards reducing carbon usage, looking for alternative fuels. I believe I read once before that they are testing a lot of different alternatives for fuels and making planes more efficient so they don't burn as much fuel when flying. So definitely when you do go to fly, try to book with an airline that is more sustainable and working towards those carbon neutral goals. So now let's talk about what you can do to reduce your carbon usage when it comes to air travel. First of all, reduce the amount of flights. That's the easiest thing. And you save money and time. Reduce the amount of flights that you take in a year. I challenge you in one calendar year, one 12 months to reduce your flight usage. You can do this by just not traveling. Okay, just don't travel, stay at home, do more local things. But also you can reduce this by, if it's somewhere close by, maybe it's less than a two hour flight, then probably it means it's pretty close. You can drive by car, which will definitely be not the best thing, but you can always rent an electric vehicle, which is better, or a more fuel efficient vehicle, which is way better than air travel. And you can also travel by train. Obviously, if a train is near you, the US is kind of ridiculous in train opportunities. but. Those are alternatives to travel somewhere instead of by plane because plane is really carbon heavy, okay? Really carbon heavy compared to cars and trains. Also, you can offset your carbon usage, which is not the most recommended thing, but it's still decent because you wanna just stop using so much carbon, okay? You wanna stop <laughs> using so much. So you can offset your carbon by planting trees. I donate money to the Arbor Day Foundation because they are dedicated to planting trees nationally and around the globe. And it's only, I believe like a dollar a tree, something really cheap. And they plant trees in areas that need trees planted, which trees are critical to this fight against climate change. So I highly recommend that you donate and plant trees. Donate and plant trees towards the amount of carbon that you use when you travel, okay? Next up, you also wanna calculate how much carbon you're using. I will link a website down below to help you calculate how much carbon you're using overall in life. And you can actually take it to the EPA's website, which gives you an estimate on how much that is. And also this website with the calculator, they actually give you plans on what to do to help you reduce your carbon intake once you fill out the form. It takes less than five minutes, unless you just have so many things going on. It may take a little bit longer, but it's really easy to find out. And like I said, try to fly 
airlines that have sustainable goals and are working towards reducing their carbon usage. Okay, explorers, so that is the end of this video. I hope you understood why, what could happen, what airlines are doing, and what you can do to help reduce your carbon usage in relation to air travel. Because obviously, if we don't reduce carbon usage, it's not gonna be good for any of us. Not one person on this planet. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. It is free for you to do so, and it helps me provide more and better content to you in the future. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments about this video, please leave them down below in the comment box, but keep it classy because it won't get approved if you don't. Make sure you share this video with your friends, family, and social media networks so they can get this information as well because the more people who know, the better it will be. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day or night wherever in the world you are. Bye.